Does it make sense to you? Yes. Thank Great. You. Was it helpful? Does, does this, is this something you can work with? Yeah, I hope. I hope. Because yeah. it's very go difficult ahead. to go outside of this uh, emotion and look at it, as you said. Well, this is, yeah. Very difficult to go outside of what emotion? Tell me that. Of, of this emotion of, of being worried, for example. Okay, yeah. It, you, well, this is the first step. You're simply aware. Okay, let's do this. I want you to, to feel this emotion. Close your eyes and feel the emotion. Yes. And when you're feeling it, where in your body do you really feel it? If it's in your body? Does yes, it, in my heart. In your heart, okay. So look at it, and I yes. want you to tell yourself, as you're looking at it, I want you to tell yourself the worriness, the concern about being worried is here, and it's visiting me. Okay. okay. All right, go ahead and do that. Look at it, and tell yourself that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Now pay attention to this. You're not saying I am worried and I am concerned. You're saying concern for being worried is here. Yes. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay. So now watch it. Just look at it. Simply look at it. Oh. Don't do anything about it. Don't try to push it away. Don't hug it. Simply look at it. There is a concern about your daughter is here. There's a thought. There's an emotion is here right now. You can help it not noticing it because it's bigger than you. So you simply watch it. You're not trying to push it away. Don't try to push it away. Simply be aware of it. That's all you need to do. And then I'm gonna come back in 10, 15 minutes to you and we talk about it. You just simply stay with it. Okay? Okay. 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 Can you yeah. do that? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back to you. Let's just give it a few minutes and then we'll come back and visit again. Okay. Is there anything anybody, any questions anybody has? Oh, it's just okay. Hi, Kim. Nice to see you. Let's see. I'm gonna find you. All right, Kim. I'm unmuting you. Hello, Hi. Kim. Hi. Uh -huh. Nice Hi. to see you. Nice to see you, sweetheart. Good to see you and see you. I, uh, I do have a question that I want to see how we can go about dealing with triggers such as your last class. I don't normally check the chat, but for some reason, I checked your chat last time and there was a very disturbing message of a way of a threat. And yeah. I, f I felt it triggered me. Okay. It hurt because because I want to protect you. I believe what you do is incredibly holy and for humanity. And I cannot imagine someone has such rage and hatred with foul language, you know, coming to your forum. And it makes me wonder what we do 
is this something that when we do something that is not common to mainstream is untraditional and we were more likely to trigger controversial you know events or topics or triggering other people how do you deal with something like this i mean i have i mean i i haven't had it to this extent to what i experienced in your, in your form right. so how do you, how did you go about working is this a chance for us to go within and stillness again because you know how you say everything in life is synchronicities and it happens for a reason and everything how do you understand this process right well that's a great question thank you for bringing this up i really appreciate it uh same same way that when someone is praising me same way that somebody is telling me how great I am or how appreciative they are, I deal with it the same way. I hear it, I acknowledge it, and I move on. So other people, they have the right to be angry or they have the right to attack me as well as they have the right to love me and praise what I do. That is a part of the duality. They're all allowed. So you just hear both of it and you're not attached to any of it and you move on with your life. And that also is a part of anyone who becomes a public figure or they dare to get out there and share uh, whatever that is, whether you're in spiritual world or you're an actor or you're a singer or whatever you're a politician whatever once you get out there you are going to have to learn to deal with both sides that's a part of this the deal so you learn not to be attached to the times that people are praising you or putting you up on a pedestal you and you learn not to be attached when they're threatening you that uh, you're an antichrist or you're a devil worshiper. So you stay neutral. I'm going to unmute you again. I'm sorry. I muted you. Uh, go ahead and accept. Yeah, thank you. Does, is this... Does it, did it answer your question, honey? Yes, yes, clearly, because then that will give you courage to continue with your work. Yeah, right. because the, if, I, if I base my happiness based on what people think of what I do or what kind of comments, so my well-being, my confidence, my mission is based on how many people are approving what I do or disapproving, then my happiness and well-being is conditional. It's based on what the public think of me. And that's yeah. not where I derive my sense of happiness and fulfillment. I know who I am. 